Alright, I think it's time for me to stop dinging the coin because I'm kind of annoying our stars now. <laughs> hey guys, Stella Metals here bringing you another Destiny 2 Shadowkeep video and today's Shadowkeep video we're going to be continuing more quests or tasks that our Cyrus is going to give us. The previous one we finished a task that was related to a phased object and today's quest we're going to be taking keeping time that's the quest we're going to do today I should not have turned my back so on. let's go talk to Osiris okay so it's about containing an anomaly let's see Guardian Osiris says the Red Legion's meddling with the sundial continues to create timeline instabilities across the system we need to maintain the link between the sundial and the obelisk I've created venture out into this system and strengthen the link between an obelisk and a sun and the sundial we cannot afford for time to break elsewhere as if it's on mercury okay so what's it asking us to do there was a sundial obelisk quest that I did on Mars and I've linked it already um let's see recover weapons from an alternate Timelines by completing time loss weapon bounties. Okay. This one is going to take a long time, but I know what they are. If anyone wants to know about the Mars obelisk, uh, it's pretty straightforward. The steps are similar to the Tangled Shore. All you have to do is just kill some enemies and to collect some salvage uh, Bray Tech. Bank them in, then go collect some Orbs of Light or Super Kills. Bank those in connect that to the sundial which is the sundial link and then just play some sundial runs to get the rewards from the Mars obelisk that's pretty much it it's going to be the same process for the upcoming obelisks for the EDZ and the Nessus and if you want to know what the weapons were from the Mars obelisk it was pretty much um, these two weapons which is Martyr's Retribution, a grenade launcher. Looks pretty cool. And it has a unique weapon frame called the Wave Frame. I gotta try this out after this uh, video. And the second one is Line in the Sand, which is a linear fusion rifle. This is also the exactly the same uh, weapon frame that has been leaked out before the season has arrived so can't wait to try this out right now I'll try them out another time okay for this part of the quest we need to complete three time loss bounties if you don't know what time loss bounties are these are brand new bounties that are available at season of dawn uh, they can be found in obelisks such as the ones from tangled shore and mars all you need to do is purchase them using 10 of these uh, fragments which you get as season currency um, and some glimmer and each time loss bounty will give you like a random objective to do such as kill uh, kill thralls with, um, with a particular weapon or precision hits or an ability and once you complete all three of them it's uh it's pretty straightforward you move to the next quest after you finish those three time lost bounties uh it'll take you like around i would say 10 minutes give or take how fast you are um yeah these aren't difficult but they're pretty fun to get more weapons so the next step we have to do is go back to osiris Let's go.
Oh yeah. Alright, I've arrived at the sundial uh, slipway, but before I proceed, I want to show you this. I leveled up my season rank, and I got the new finisher. Can it work on hydras? I don't think it works on hydras. Nope. Hydras don't have a finisher. But, heck yeah, I get headbud like Saint-14. Anyway, let's go talk to Osiris. I have walked through many timelines in reality and in meditation. Osiris says gravely, but it is never something I do lightly. I mistake. One mistake can put everything in jeopardy. He looks out over the chaos beyond the sundial. As you see here, he meets your gaze again. Thank you for strengthening the sundial's connection to the obelisk. We will need to continue to guard that connection if we hope to keep the timeline stable across the system. Oh, okay. It's pretty much, uh... that. Wow. Direct all complaints, okay. Scramble voice so, channels. technically, I thought it was going to be, like, more secrets and stuff, like it showed from the previous the quest for how we get the they must be evicted. phased object to reveal yeah, to the same 14 enemies. shotgun, but instead, we just did something, a really quick quest. Well, that's a bummer. But, that quest gives us a better understanding of how to use time loss bounties. So, that gives all of us as guardians a good lesson to use guardian. uh... these time loss bounties in case we need you know more weapons to find because our bounties like the ones I completed earlier it gives us time loss bounties for this season and also random legendary weapons throughout the destiny 2 community such as the bygones uh, the Black Scorpion, or pretty much any legendary weapon that will be in store in the obelisks. So, who knows? We might find some good bounties to use, and we can keep farming them over and over again to get better rolls, well. or god rolls for Make our weapons. But this is a pretty good idea, and I like this quest. It's pretty short and simple. But yeah, that's it for this Terrible video, guys. It was really short, but yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video, and don't forget to check out my friend's YouTube channels, Gearbox, and Just Another Gaming channel for their Destiny 2 Shadowkeep content. I also have a Twitter, so go check it out as well. I'll be putting like random pictures, like screenshots, or other suggestions, which I need to come up with something soon. Thank you guys for watching. Sailor Metals is out.